Welcome back to UA Technical Solutions. In today's topic we will discuss four-way valve also known as reversing valve. Before we proceed to the working principle let's know the components used in a four-way valve. E represents evaporator line, S for compressor suction line, C for condenser line, and D is for compressor discharge line. Then we have a piston and slider inside the cylinder body. Let's understand how and what actually happens inside the valve to change the refrigerant flow direction. Please follow the cursor as we speak. From discharge line a branch is taken and connected to solenoid valve of four-way valve. From solenoid valve three lines goes out one to the suction line of four-way valve and the other two are connected at each end of cylinder. The purpose of solenoid valve is to move the slider piston left or right by using the high pressure refrigerant or low pressure refrigerant to change the refrigerant cycle in a heat pump. When in heating mode which is the reverse cycle. High pressure discharge refrigerant enters via solenoid valve branch line from the side of the cylinder of the four-way valve and move the piston and slider assembly to connect port D and E and also connects port S and C. In this configuration, discharge refrigerant will enter from port D and exits from port E into the evaporator coil, and from condenser refrigerant enters port C and pass through port S to enter compressor suction. When in cooling mode, low pressure refrigerant enters via solenoid valve branch line from the side of the cylinder of the four-way valve and move the piston and slider assembly to connect port D and C and also connects port E and S. In this configuration, discharge refrigerant enters from port D and exits from port C into the condenser and returns from evaporator into port E and pass through port S into the compressor suction. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe us at UA Technical Solutions. Let us know in the comment section the topics of your choice to make this channel more relevant to you.